Hey there, Steve Gamash for Chef Knives to Go with another quick look product review. And what we have this time is the Shidokama Awagami Super or AS Guto 240mm knife. This knife has three layer construction, so this combines old school styling with uh, more modern uh, stainless cladding on it for a little bit easier maintenance, so it's a very nice combination. The core steel is what's known as Awagami Blue Paper Super Reactive High Carbon Steel. Uh, heat treat on that is about 63, it might be a little, maybe 62, 64, very a little bit, but this steel is known for really good edge retention, sharpenability is good with decent stones, it's got a little more alloying elements than uh, Aogami, uh Blue Number 2, uh, but excellent kitchen steel, again, nice edge retention on it. The construction is, again, stainless, soft stainless cladding on either side of that coarse steel, so that stainless gives you lower maintenance. They've got what's known as a Kuda Uchi or KU or protective kind of blacksmith style finish on here, traditional style finish. Uh, it's pretty, pretty smooth. It's matte, very matte, but there's no lacquer needed on here, so it's not shiny, but uh, very smooth overall. Uh, the weight and dimensions on these are going to vary just a little bit from knife to knife. <clears throat> this particular one is 168 grams or 5.9 ounces. Edge length is 245, a little oversized, so you got nine, 9.6 inches on the cutting edge, so it's a nice size knife. It would be good for prep or larger product. The um, overall length is about 392 millimeters or 15.4 inches. And uh, these have a thicker spine coming out of the handle, but then they thin out quickly. So above the back of the blade, the back of the heel, I got about 3.4. Again, this will vary from knife to knife. But then it thins down pretty nicely, <clears throat> about 2 millimeters halfway down, and then thins down a little bit more past that, not too much. And then when you get to the grind, where you start thinning out towards the edge and the tip, it's a nice and thin tip, so the performance is going to be really good on these. And then here is your on camera. There we go. Here's your twirl shot. So they've got a nice thin at the edge grind, uh, but you've got some meat in the blade itself. It's fairly stiff, which is great, especially in the back half. Uh, so you'll have some good kind of food release, kind of a good combo between stiffness, um, food separation right here and performance. So this should be a great combination and performance. Good balance. 52 millimeters is the height at the back of the, the blade or the heel. You've got a pretty generous neck right here coming off the choil. Great spot for your finger there for a pinch grip. Handles are fairly light. Uh, these are kind of classic octagonal walnut with a maple ferrule. Nice fit and finish on the handle. Nice warm look to it. They've done a good job gluing these or sealing these up at the tang. And then let's look at the balance point. Again, the handles are fairly light, so the balance point on this one's about right there. And for me, the pinch grip is maybe just a touch behind that, but fairly close. So it's uh, fairly neutral. If you've got bigger hands, your pinch grip might be right on the money. So it's a fairly neutral balance point. Fit and finish, again, is nicely done. Um, it's got really clean grinds, nice straight blade. The craftsmanship's good on these. So here is your KU finish. Again, it's matte. Finished, but fairly smooth, quite smooth. Here's the left side of the blade. They've got some engraved kanji on there. Looks like they put the KU on after the kanji was engraved, but it is there. It's very nice looking. And here's the left side of the blade. So there's your cladding, grind on the cladding, starting down with a kind of a sandblasted finish, and then here's your core steel peeking out. They've done a little relief at the spine, some relief at the choil, so it's very comfortable. Uh, the box edge, give it a 7 out of 10, had really nice edge on it, uh, kind of a good polish to the edge, high grit on it, quite sharp out of the box, so these should be ready to go. And let's look at the cutting board profile on this guy. <clears throat> these have a, this maker tends to make tall knives, but they are pretty consistent in their profiles. So this has a pretty good flat area that it kind of flows into at the back for chopping, fairly aggressive belly. So this will rock excellently. This will be a really nice rocker, but you got some chopping at the back, some good, you know, flattish area there. And then it'll, you know, tip draws are, are you can do that with this, but you'll have to bring the handle fairly high for tip draws because you've got that aggressive belly towards the tip. But really good combination of uh, profile characteristics for a variety of cutting techniques. So these are well made. You've got the classic looks with the stainless cladding for easy maintenance, excellent steel, 
good performance, so it's just a good combination of characteristics. This is the Shidokamo Aogami Super Kuto 240mm knife from Chef Knives to Go.